A Nova Scotia homeowner is going public this morning. After years trying to get money, he was awarded in a suit against his contractor. Now he's wondering why he even bothered to pursue the small court claim. And Rosa Marcatelli explains why it can be so difficult to collect. When Peter Dobson sued his former contractor in small claims court, he hoped it would be a slam dunk. And at first, it was. He won the case, and he had it in black and white, a judgment from a Nova Scotia small claims court saying the contractor he'd hired to build a second-story addition on his home owed him more than $20,000 for failing to finish the job. Seven years later, Dobson is still trying to get his money. If there could be more teeth in a court order, that definitely would be helpful because in many cases, court orders, as in my case, are totally ignored and the court order is therefore useless. Problem is, there are no enforcement agencies for small claims courts, so those who win are on their own to try and collect if the person they sued doesn't want to pay. Dobson tried to track down his former contractor's assets to try and garnish income, bank accounts, put liens on his property. He found nothing. When you get your judgment, you're only halfway there. The problem is that when there are people out there that don't want to pay, they can make it very difficult. Go Public spoke with five other people and companies who have successfully sued the same contractor. None say they've been paid the total of more than $173,000 awarded to them by judges. When asked about the money he owes, Gross had no comment. According to Statistics Canada, almost 565,000 small claims court cases were filed in the past four years. Toronto civil litigation lawyer Tanya Walker says make sure someone is able to pay before filing a lawsuit. And it may not be worth it when you do the research and realize other judgments are ahead of you, the person doesn't have assets, and so it's, a, it's important to make a, a good business decision whether or not to sue because you don't want to end up um, losing more money in the matter. Dobson doubts he'll ever see his money, but he's not giving up on getting justice, he says. He and another former gross customer are posting warnings about the contractor online, compiling complaints against him, hoping that will lead to fraud charges. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.